Wonderful. In this video, we're going to talk about ATS. The, this is a crucial input for IP man. This is the thing to check if you to figure out when you want to when you we want to know whether you're going to get a call or not for the interview. So, what is this ATS? How is it calculated? If for the three sections in this IP mat, what are the sections? What are the weightages? How many marks are there? How, what are the topics sitting inside that? All of those are given in a beautiful detailed video. The description is available. So if you don't know what the sections contain, what are the different type, check that out before we come here, before you come here, because there's a, a slightly more uh, kind of a video where we go deeper into thinking about how the calls come. What is this ATS? So the, what, they, what they do is they take your scores in the MCQ section, the short answer section and your verbal ability section. And then they say, okay, I don't want to just see your score. I want to see your score in the context of what is the maximum and minimum. And so the maximum score in this section, MCQ for quant, let's say is 72. And the minimum is zero. Then 72 minus zero sits here. And let's say you've got 36. So 36 minus zero by 72 minus zero. That fraction into this, this is the weightage given to each section. That fraction, this is going to be a fraction, this is going to be less than or equal to 1. Right? What they are saying effectively, conceptually, if you think about it, if you're the person who's got the minimum score, the person who's just cleared cutoff in the quantitative ability MCQ section, then this number will be 0. So you've cleared the cutoff all right, but the contribution from that section for your overall ATS is 0. Right? The other extreme, suppose you are the guy who scored the maximum, whatever the maximum might be. Then maximum minus minimum, maximum minus minimum is 1. That means you get 25 out of 25 in that section. So effectively, if you think about it, for this section, if the minimum were 12, minimum 12 for the person clearing, the maximum were 72. Then from 12 to 72, when you move, your score will go from 0 to 1, almost linearly. So what you are saying is, if you are at the minimum, you are the last guy to clear the section cutoff, and you clear the section cutoff, but you are getting 0 marks for this. If you're the best guy, you've got the maximum score in that section, then you are the guy who's setting the benchmark, you'll get 25 points for that. Anyone in between will get in between. So therefore, the absolute marks of each section don't matter. So a candidate who's got, say, 25 in this, 15 in this, not 15, 15 is not possible, 16 in this, and 95 in this. So 25, 16, 95. So the lion's share of the marks coming from here, but it, that, that candidate could perf might perform worse than somebody who gets 20, 20, 80. Because the, the, the better marks coming from here or 20, 30, 80 could give you a better impact on the overall ATS score. And so therefore, just completely, it is not governed by your overall total. So when you see a final dashboard and says, look, you've got 125 marks overall, the lion's share is likely to come from this section. The biggest scoring section is verbal. But just killing that section is not going to be sufficient because how much ever you kill this section, the context for that is going to be provided based on what is the maximum, what is the minimum in that. Once again, this weightage being 50 is useful, powerful. Right? What is going to happen here? The guy who gets the maximum score in verbal is going to get 50. The guy who gets the minimum score in verbal, that is your cleared cutoff, you're going to get zero. Anything in between is going to be between 0 and 50, moving almost linearly. If you have to just imagine and say, look, 35 is the minimum score, maximum score is 100. 35 will get 0. 100, the guy who's got the maximum score will get uh, 50. 100 will get 50. Everything else in between will move linearly from one to other. And so how much have you done better than the minimum score seen in the context of the guy who has killed the section? And so that ratio into the weightage that gives your ATS score. And so it's a wonderful way of saying, I'm looking at each section in the context of the field for that section. What are the minimum and maximum, my minimum cutoff and the maximum score for that section. And then allotting points for you based on where you stand vis-a-vis -vis the field. Effectively, minimum to maximum in that range, where are you? That's what I'm looking at. And based on where you are, you'll get a weightage. You'll get marks for that. And then the weightage is attached to that. Right? Wonderful. The weightage of the previous year, the calculation, the computation, the basis, the ideas, all the same. The year before it was 35, 30 and 35, which is effectively close to about one third. So in 2020, they said, look, three sections, one third, one third, one third. 
2021 they said three sections but the two quant sections i cannot give one third one third then my quant becomes two thirds i don't want that so i'll make it half and half 50 percent for verbal and 25 25 for uh, quant and quant now what do we know extra additionally based on this for the for the 2021-26 batch this is based on the rti information we know these details so we know how many have scored positive raw score by category this is not that relevant minimum cutoff marks for each section and how many candidates cleared these cutoff marks and then what are the minimum ats and maximum ats within that period and so we want to have a look at this it's the same table we just drawn bigger so that we know what what's happening this is the overall number who scored positive raw score greater or equal to zero the greater is not equal to one or greater than zero in each section this is not a relevant number we know we don't have a pot of 10248 people overall right this is a cru more crucial number and so suppose you are a general candidate then in the short answer section 16 was the cutoff so if you had got 12 which is the next possible score below 16 then no matter what you have scored in the other sections you can't get a call you have to clear section cutoff so in the short answer question, one must have got four answers correct in order to have been eligible for the ATS game. If you've got exactly four answers correct, you have cleared this cutoff. The ATS contribution from that section will be zero. You still live to fight another day to get ATS point from this and this, and then you go through. So a candidate who gets 16, 21, 70 will get an ATS of zero because you've got just cut off, clear the just clear the cutoff, just clear the cutoff. I think your overall score is going to be zero. The ATS contribution from each of these zero. So you must clear this. And then you should have something more in buffer in order to give to go into the ATS spot. And so this gives us a list of how many candidates cleared each of these cutoffs. That is all of these cutoffs here. And this is a very interesting number because it adds up to about 1850. Uh, there are about 150 seats and about 60-ish or 65-ish 65 to 70 would be my guess for the general candidates. So the, the, the number of people who are going to be called for interviews, we don't, the, 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 that is going to be a sizable number, multiple times the 150 number total. So that feel is, if you have cleared all session cutoff, you're already in mix in some form. There's a decent chance that you might get called for an interview. You All you need to do is clear this, and then do maybe 10% maybe better in two sections, and 30% and, and better in one session. So if I had to put marks on it, 20, 25, 90, you're good. You should, you should have got a call. Or 80, 20, 35, you should have got a call. Really well in one section and five marks, six marks more than the cutoff in the other two, you should have got a call. That's, that's where the numbers are. That's what the numbers are telling us because the number of people who cleared all these section cutoff is not gigantic. 10,048 people was the previous number. 10,248 was the previous number. This number adds up to 850. So the number of people clearing all three section cutoff crashes. So if you're in the mix there, then it's a decent chance that you will got called. After this, what do we have? We have among in each of these categories, what is the minimum ATS score among these number of candidates? And what is the maximum? Again, you must remember that it's not like if you've got 43, you're going to get a call. That's not what they're saying. It's saying this is the minimum ATS score among these three to 25 people who've got that. What they do effectively is they clear section, create section cutoffs, put them in, and then evaluate and completely find a total list of how many people have cleared this barrier. And then they say for all of these students, I'm going to calculate ATS scores. These kids are good. They have a positive raw score, definitely. They have cleared section cutoffs in each of them, definitely. They have an ATS contribution from each section which all adds up to give me this number. And then I'll arrange all ATS scores in descending order, draw a line somewhere and make a call. What the numbers are telling us, which you can infer, is if you clear section cutoffs, then you're in with a shout. If you've got slightly more than section cutoff in, in two sections, and a little bit more than slightly more in one section, then you're in with a shout. Because the number of people who have cleared section cutoff in all three is small in the context of number of people who have taken the exam or who have positive raw score. And long and short of it, prepare well for the exam. All the best. Uh, I'm just kidding. Know what your chances are. Know what the math is, what they're trying to do. The, the, uh, the verbal section is your big scoring section. But the overall cutoff 
is not at all linked to your total marks. They take your verbal score, kind of do some magic around it based on the maximum and minimum, put a proxy score for it. Do that same thing for quant short answer and short quant MCQ. Then attach weightages to it. Create this ATS. Everybody who's cleared all three section cutoff is now kept in a room. And then in descending order of ATS, we get people in and call them for an interview. So balance is super important. Planning with the idea that you have to clear all three cutoff and get slightly more in all three is super crucial. So it's a, it's a wonderful exam to prepare for, nice and challenging. It's a beautiful option to take it, but it, things are not as direct and obvious as they seem. Best wishes for my friend.